What is up guys, Hate here and welcome to another video. Today we have here the Orico M.2 NVMe Dual Bay Enclosure. It means that this is capable of handling two M.2 SSD for external storage. So without further ado, let's just do a very quick unboxing of this. This is one of the recent product of Orico. Uh, let's just read first what's inside the box. Well, no need. I'll just put it there. If you really want to see the specs of that, let's just open this. Da -da 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 Unboxing video. Nothing more. Let's just put it here. Whoa. It looks premium. All aluminum. I don't really need this. Some paper works. So let's just see what's inside the box. So it comes with one cable. By the way, I just bought this for less than 2,000 pesos here in the Philippines. This is a nice cable. This is a Type-C cable with Type-A adapter on the other side because this one is a Type-C too. So you have a single cable for this. Though this is a dual slot dual bay uh, m.2 ssd so it comes with uh, this is the stopper for the m.2 by the way as a content creator we really need this kind of uh, device whoa it comes with a thermal tape two thermal tape and Two aluminum uh, what what do they call this this is for heat transfer for the thermal tape and then this metal plate thing cover and then to the body body heat sink of this it's really nice this is all aluminum guys so let's just appreciate it first so this is the top the side the back and the other side with its logo Orico and here is the dual bay m.2 external SSD slot see you can put two SSD here and it will function like you are carrying two of these <laughs> so you, you don't need any you don't need any screwdriver to assemble this you just need this it has a switch here or what do you call this mm. just need to pick the other side and then push i guess yeah right i need to push and it comes out and the other one the same so this one this is solid aluminum Orico. <laughs> this is pretty neat so let's see if you can attach it backwards well you can but i guess you're not supposed to do that because 
this slot or the other side ha has this uh, guide for the lock of this this one this is plastic the case or the outer part it's protecting the PCB inside look at that this is the back this is the front by the way I'm just going to assemble or I'm just going to put a single M.2 SSD for this because I don't have a 2 terabyte yet for the other one and yeah we have here the Lexar this is uh, new from Lexar the Lexar Ares uh, 7 7400 mbps per second this is the fastest transfer rate ssd or m.2 ssd that you can find this is a gen 4 m.2 ssd nvme gen 4 see this is pretty cheap the cheapest i guess in the market I got this for less than 6,000 pesos here in the Philippines. That's more or less mm, 100, 110 US dollars. Then the pocket knife. There. It comes with another paperwork. So the transfer rate of this one, this, in, this enclosure will not max out this M.2 SSD card because I guess the maximum transfer rate of this, this is just capable of one, 1 1.2 or 1 gigabyte per second transfer rate. Well, this Lexar M.2 is capable of reaching 3.5, I guess, 3.5 gig per second transfer rate, read and write. So this one, it cannot, it will not max out. Let's just put the other one. You can interchange them you can you can use either on either side because the lock is on the same side let's just use one for this build so it's very easy building your own external SSD Internal memory. Look at that. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So let's just put it on the case. There. As a content creator, you really need this kind of accessory. I will use this as a storage and for editing at the same time. So I just put this here, tiny thing. This is the stopper. Just put it there. Put a little bit of force there. There. So there's the M.2. And then we're going to put the thermal tape. You just need to peel the plastic on the one side and then put it there. Something like that. 
there and then you peel the plastic there then this metal casing and then after you placed everything here securely just place it there and it's done that is the disadvantage of having a quick release or easy opened and close drives Let's see if I hold that it doesn't have that shake so there you have an M.2 SSD each M.2 the maximum uh, capacity that you can place here is two terabyte so you have two so the maximum capacity of this external hard drive can be up to four terabyte of memory so there for the unboxing and for the short assembly of an m.2 a fast reliable m.2 external storage for your content for your whatever purposes you want so there thank you guys for watching once again my name is hate see you in the next video mabuhay